Even before the closings were lifted and customers flocked to the restaurants, Caitlin Holden found she was busier than usual. As the general manager of a popular restaurant in Hamilton, your typical day had previously involved scheduling staff, managing money, and overseeing a bustling kitchen. But the owners had laid off most of the customer service staff at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, so now she was working the phone lines, taking customer orders, and also monitoring new security protocols. In February, Holden decided to resign. I had enough, said the 29-year-old. My salary was extremely low for the amount of work I was doing. The nature of restaurant work has changed during the pandemic. Staff work longer hours, with broader responsibilities and new rules to follow. Demand for indoor patios and dining has increased, flooding kitchens with orders and causing staff to protect themselves from the spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. Restaurant owners, many of whom incurred significant revenue losses during closings, are eager to increase their margins by entertaining as much business as possible while the opportunity lasts. However, one thing that has not changed is wages. Data from Statistics Canada shows that since February 2020, hourly wages for food service workers have increased by a matter of pennies.